Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to try to get through this. I was on the stream yard, and I guess they're sending me a message requesting for me to get the plan. I said, no, I can't get the plan right now. And in the process, in the midst of me recording, they interrupted, and I think they cut through it. That's how they did yesterday. I think it was just that I tried to make a video, and they interrupted, and I said, I'm going to go on my private camera, which I am now, and I'll just talk here. What you see is what you get. I'm in my bed where I ain't been feeling well. I've slept part of the day. I think I mentioned in the other video, which video which I haven't put on air yet, that I had a, a, a go to to have a check on my arm. It didn't bother me. Come to find out, it wasn't make nothing major. They did X-rays on it, and and they said it is nothing really serious. And I'm glad about that. Feeling better today. Most of the time, I get the pain coming through it like a shocking pain when I'm trying to rest. A little shock and then a little throbbing pain. But I had went to the doctor on yesterday and had it uh, and I, I went to the chart uh, uh, and I found out that it's nothing really major. Oh, I got to go to the orthopedic, I think I said the name right, and um, take further instructions on what to do and I don't want to go to know what you call those people, uh, therapy or whatever you call it, um, physical therapy. I don't want to go through all of that. But I, I'm feeling good that it ain't nothing major that they have to lay me on the table and go inside my arm and all that bull crap. I don't, I go when I need to. When One thing is very important. When your body gives you a sign, don't wait too long, honey. A lot of people got insurance and they wait too late. They, 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 the body will give you signals that something is off. I don't have too many signals, but when I do, I make sure I head down there to my doctor to see what's going on. It's very important. They're trying to turn, cut health care off, insurance and all that. They're trying to get people to come out their pocket. You know who, you know they said, you know who's trying to do a lot, a lot of that stuff. And since I'm headed in that direction, they had a, a former First Lady Michelle Obama uh, on the stage with Vice President Kamala Harris on some program, uh, Beyonce and Kelly Rowland. You don't too often see them in the same area, it was said allegedly that Kelly Rowland wished she could be in the spot that Beyonce's in. And when they uh, when she's on the red carpet or when she's being interviewed, they'll bring, and I seen it and heard it with my own eye, I heard it with my own ears and seen it with my own eyes, baby. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Uh, someone was interviewing her entertainment, what is them shows are, come on uh, in the evening. It, two different ones come on at 6.30. But anyway, they asked something about Beyonce. She says, what she said, no comment. Where is my speaker? My speaker is uh, tilted over. I have to make sure that I'm being heard. She said no comment, so that's been going on for quite some time. They just forgot I forgot about the uh, the uh, Christian lady. What was her name? Michelle. I'm not speaking of Michelle Obama. I'm talking about this in this group. They haven't did any type of uh, concerts or nothing together either. They were trying to promote it at one time. That the three get back together, but honey, I don't think uh, Beyonce. I don't know. I don't think they want, she want that. I don't know who got to put that together. But I was proud to see them on, both on the stage together. Being an advocate for pres, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. And Michelle came up there. 
she did her thing. She said what she had to say. Uh, former President Obama is bagging him up. There's a lot of people, excuse me, bagging uh, Vice President Kamala Harris up. So, I think I mentioned in another video that I did while I was out yesterday. yesterday. I went to did my early vote. I put my ballot in and did my part so I ain't got to worry about it on uh, November the 5th. Mm -mm. Got that out the way. So let me get into what, because I ain't going to be here long. I had issues, with, technical issues with my camera on uh, uh, what's called call that stream yard. I said, I'm going to come on and I'll just talk and, and turn myself on the camera. I still got my gown on. <laughs> Didn't do my makeup. I just put my hair a little ball in the back and and that's about it. What you see is what you get. I ain't uh, going for no America Next Top Model. I ain't trying to go down red carpet. Speaking of red carpet, I don't know what confuffle happened. Something happened with Queen Tulsa. Red carpet. Miss Tina Turner, she upset with the people because she didn't get a part. It was some type of technical issue with her music. I'm speaking in the beef sector, um, um, Halloween show. Halloween show, that's what I'm speaking on. So, Queen Tulsa raised hell because she didn't get anything. Something was going on with the music. I heard a little, I was telling Velma, do you know what happened? I don't know too much what happened. With Queen Tulsa, I heard bits and pieces of it. Queen Tulsa and Miss Alien got into it. I think Miss Alien was she the co-host. I'm speaking the lady that owns the spaceship. I don't know what part she complained about stuff, and they went back and forth with each other. Miss Alien and Queen Tulsa. Something else happened. I gotta get through this real quick, honey. I got stuff I need to do. Uh, uh, something else happened. If I heard correct, I said, Velma, I think somebody snatched 350 bucks from him. Velma, Velma was telling me that she thought he, he, he thought that the request was requesting coming in to him. Request the funds. Like someone sent the funds to him. And he hit the button and sent it out to them. They requested. He thought request meant to him. I said, Velma, do you believe that what he thought that was requesting me, requesting money? <laughs> I don't know. But it's scammers everywhere and the government is watching these cash apps, these PayPal's and other sources of receiving uh, finances. A lot of people don't report it. Now you got to report it. If you make a certain amount, his cash app was shut down because he Went to the limit. Certain ones did. Velma, I don't know how. Maybe that's why the other the, the uh, people on the panel, King Roman and whoever else, didn't get the money. But I believe what Lemon gonna do this do the right thing. Unlike the other show that they said something happened over there with Ness. Some the money wasn't right over there. I don't know too much about that. I don't like talking that I don't know too much about. I didn't know this was for uh, Halloween uh, competitions. Com they competed for a time. I know Nance and I don't know who else. And also, I heard this is what I said to them. If, all, if this woman over there in the den don't get a cut of that money, all hell going to break loose. You ain't heard it over here that I started the rumor. Somebody said it somewhere. I said, Velma, somebody said, is he going to send money? I don't know how much was in the pot, but it seemed like it was enough. And and from what I'm hearing, Velma, it was still money going into the pot even after the show. I don't know. I don't know how much was raised in, in that pot. They gave the first price 600 I do know that. And uh, the second is 3 something 350 I don't remember what the third was. But it was a it was a great show. No, he I said Velma, no, he wasn't drinking. 
when they snatched them 350 bucks from him. He started all the drinking later on in the after show, which the after show was over at ODS's. I didn't go there to see what was going on. I think I picked in a little bit, and I was, honey, I had went to sleep somewhere around that the show lasted for, I don't know, late. It was late, and I went over there and watched a little bit of it. And that's that. That was that. And uh, they talking about I don't know what they, I, I don't know if I was I thought I was dreaming something about get your ass home. I'm pal, I'm uh, at, at living now, but it was it was something similar to get your ass off the street you driving. And I think I heard Lemon say something about he ordered a piece or whatever. He's not driving. They was on his ass. Velma, they was on his ass. Get off the highway. While you're drinking, somebody else did that and somebody called the police. Who was that? <laughs> I can never say his name. DJ J. Dunn called the police on his ass and he don't like her to this day. He didn't like him and Wilson got into it. The man that ran the temple, what is his name? They call him Moonface. He don't come on that often. The name ain't coming to me right now. I'm going to move on with, the, with my, what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. So uh, it was something that I was going to say about this show, uh, this Halloween show. Uh, who else was in that show? I don't know. They did the poll, the poll, and they were asking over the hood table. I think that's the hood table. They were bringing up issues about it. Why help? Uh, judges when you got the poll. They said it tied or something. How did it tie? I didn't understand that. So they got through that part. They got through that and, and it was it was okay. And uh, Queen Tulsa was upset because she didn't get a part of it. I don't know what happened. I was trying to pull her up on the screen, Miss Tina Turner. She looked at the part though. I don't know what the kids had, had to do with with the thing. I was going to talk a little bit, but I started too early about this you-know-who talking about the, the, their countries being flooded by uh, all different ethnicities. And now he's saying, um, who is he saying? They came over here, um, oh, uh, Religion is a religion. Uh, Muslims. Actually, he got my Muslims now have flooded over here. He's talking about some everybody's flooded over. And if he get an office, y'all stay with me. If you don't get it now, you get it tomorrow. Those of you, I'm talking to those of you that ain't going to go out and, and put your ballot in and you complain about what's going on. I'm talking to those of you. If he get in, democracy is at stake right now. Is a thin line with democracy. We don't want to go back, which I'm preaching on it. Yeah, I'm talking about it because I, at one time, was discouraged as to what's going on. You want to know why I was conflicted and didn't know if I wanted? I said, no, those before me had made a way. It ain't what it ought to be, but it ain't what it used to be. So if I do, like others, have a mindset, and if they, Thought the way some of us thought, thinking our voice. Well, there's unity. There's 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 power in numbers. When, when when you unify, things can make a change for the good. But when you segregate it, like they did over 200 years ago, families were sold off, and and and, and different things happened. This is not slavery. Well, in a in a in a certain way. We don't carry physically the shackles, but the country, you know, certain things is going on, but people are making it seem like ain't, there ain't nothing been changed. Yes, things has changed. So those of you that sitting on your ass is talking about my 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 one vote ain't going to count. You better get your ass off that couch and take your ass down to the pole. You know who you are. If you for Kamala, a lot of people don't care, don't want to vote for her. They saying they make it, but make it seem like a most men, a lot of men don't want a female to run the country. But do you just think about it? Do you really want you know who to get back 
in the over office? Do you really, baby, do you really want that? I don't think you want that. And some of y'all want him back in the over office because he sent your ass a couple of checks, three checks or whatever. See, people know how to get you on their side and they really ain't on your side, but they'll do a little something for you just to pull you in the web. And when they get you in the web, your ass is ate up. You caught in the web and you can't get out. That's what you know who going to do. He going to pull your ass in the cobweb and you're going to be stuck in there for another four years. And the reason you got, the reason you can't blame it on nobody else. Undecided, decide, deciding, baby. You undecided. Independence, come on with it. We got to make a change, honey. I ain't talking just because I went down there and put my ballot in. I've been talking this way before then. I was discouraged, with, not only with the, with the biggest job or who, the, the presidency. I was upset with what's going on in the community, with the argument, with the mayor, with the with the judge, with the judge. You got to know who these people are. It's 121, I think it was. You got to hit yes or no. It's so it's it's computerized now. You ain't got to take no pen and do all that stuff. What it used to be very easy now. You 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 are hitting next. You it's just like Vanna. On, on the Wheel of Fortune, you just hit the number and it takes you to the next one. I said, okay, I like this. But you got to know who you hitting on, what letters you hitting on. Because <laughs> some of them things was unfamiliar to me. But I remember they, they commercials and stuff. I said, okay, I think I know who this is. And don't vote because it's Democrats can, sometimes Democrats can mess up too. Just because you vote Democrat don't mean you got to know history, baby. Y'all got to know the history. And I read up on some of these people. I said, okay, this is easy. But what made it easy for me is I was I was down of that yesterday. It was yesterday, Friday. Just hit the thing and, and, it, it, and you click on it and then go to, the, it's 121. So it's a lot of people on the ballot. And you got to know who you, you don't want to put the wrong people on, like the judges or the, uh, the, you know, the judicial system and stuff like that. They got that on there. A lot of different stuff, and people that's running for different stuff. But my main focus was on the president who's running for, excuse me, the over office. So I did my part, and I'm going to close out on this politics part, saying to you undecided. And those of you that don't even care about the what's going on in your community, your country, period. But you complained about what's going on, get your ass to that. Poll, put 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 your voice, put your voting, your ballot in. It's too late to do it online now. Uh huh. It's uh less than two weeks. What this is a twenty six. First, yeah, it's less than two weeks. So get down there, baby. Lula May ain't gonna tell you wrong. Get down there, okay? Back to the streets of the beast sector. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, then. I'm going to get ready to get off here and watch a little TV. I was watching, and Velma, I, I spoke to Velma. I was watching something on TV. They talking about some rapper. Uh, then, and, and they talked about it some while back. Little, little Doug, little somebody. I'm not familiar with the rap stuff. They've been talking about that on the news. They were talking about uh, Pete, Sean Puff Cone, and they didn't knock them out in, in the headline news now is this fellow in Chicago set up allegedly, let me use allegedly, you never know what's true these days, fake news and stuff, said that he had something to do with another local rapper getting shot up some months ago, or well, maybe, I don't know how long ago, but it was all on the news in downtown Chicago in the Gold Coast area, and they said that Lil Dirk, I think his name is Lil Dirk, had something, had his people to mock, to, to, to do that, shot him up in his car. He no longer here. They've been talking about that. And also, I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I'm a advocate, motivation speaker, and counselor. And no, I don't have degrees or anything like that hanging on the wall. This is through life experience. And I got a call from somebody saying something about 
this little hustler con artist got him, made his way to their family, and the the the, the this lady the, the the lady they they related. I can't say too much because I'm supposed to be talking about this. You, you, you can't talk about when you when you are having a private conversation or phone. But anyway, I said, Velma, uh, I was telling her. I said, what well, I heard it, one of the craziest stories. Someone called me for advice about. This con artist, a hustler, got involved with this wealthy lady, and the kids found out. And the the juicy part of this was the lady had three kids, two sons and a daughter. One of the sons was gay. The the younger son, under age 17 years old, and he was sneaking out, going to clubs and all this type of stuff. So this little hustler, he went into the same club, and the and the son didn't know that this fella was dating his mom. So he walked in the club to get a drink or something. And they were sitting in the cut, standing in the cut back there, and they betted each other and the son if he, if he can get the man or whatever. So the son went over there, I'm talking real fast, over there, he said, I have the same drink that he's drink, having or whatever. And so that opened ice, or broke the ice, and they started a small talk. And uh, the the hustler picked up on it. He looked over there at his friends, and he knew that the friends, this is what the girl, the girl was she related to the mother, was telling me and asking me what would she do. She would she, she, she go to the mother and, and talk talk about it because she's in the family. I said, let me tell you what I said. But anyway, let, when I get through with this little piece that I was, uh, she was telling me, she said, well, uh, 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 this, 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 I said, how you get this new that your your relative, which is the mother's son, was kept the hots for the man that the mother had. The mother met the fella because his car broke down. That was the story she was telling me. The car broke down, and the and the, and the uh, mother ended up calling the tow truck, and that's what broke the ice for them to get to know each other. The mother was lonely, 60 years old, and this fella in his 30s, so you know what that means. And so... Uh, they got involved with each other and, and, and come to find out this is what the good told me. He said he's, he's, he's a bad man. He, did, he steals money and running from the law and all this type of stuff. And He got in, involved with this lady and the lady, and she is so mesmerized with him, they done laid up and had sex and everything, so she hypnotized. Anything that somebody say negative about the man, she take the man's side, even from the kids. And the son had him investigated. Her son, the woman was telling me, uh, her son is gay. The two sons are gay. Because the son went to his lover to have him investigated. I said, this is so juicy. I ain't never heard of no mess like this. I had some calls. She said, the son didn't trust him and had him investigated and found out that he was under, he was doing some crooked shit. But the son's had him investigated by his lover. And the son got a, a, a wife, a girlfriend or something. A lot of this stuff was suspect, suspect what you tell me. Nobody knew about each other. And I see, as we should I say something to, uh, about the son that's involved. But this is the killer of the baby. The son has started getting feelings for the hustler, which is involved with his mother. And the fella said to him it would be wrong because he's at on the seventeen, one thing, and he involved with the mother, uh, it wouldn't work. And the son had a pity, uh, a, a, a fit, a pity fit or whatever. When them talking to each other, storm got drunk, stormed in the house, and the mother and him had a conversation. And he, the son was like trying to break her up, so he, I guess, cause he wanted to get what saying to her. They found out already. They had found out cause the fella. Uh, she said the fella came in the kitchen and, and the son found out that they were dealing. But anyway, uh, the, 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 the son and the mother was going back and forth with each other. And he was saying, he's not right for you because I kissed him. <laughs> this girl told me all the juicy part. She told me so much. And so the, the mother didn't really believe the son. She took the man's side over the son. That happens all the time, even in real life when something happens. Which uh, the, the 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 mother take the side of who the man, and that what makes a big issue. But anyway, 
that happened, and she questioned the, the woman questioned the man, and he said he turned the, the, the sign down. He she he continued. He still stayed with her, and I said to the to the family member, I said, baby, you need to talk with your mother. I think it was, she said her mother. You need to talk with her. You 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 don't like what's going on. It's issues with this situation. Is he you? She wanted to know was she, the mother being used. I said, get them. He's a hustler. They found out, they investigated that he's a hustler. And she, your family rich. So the, you you can pick that up. I ain't got to tell you that. Yeah, the man is a hustler. But it, if you go to your mother and talk to her and, and make a ultimatum and stuff, she ain't going to go for it. It's got to be up to her. You can talk to your mother. To to your mother going to do what she want to do. But you can go and talk to her about it. Tell her you're not, you're not uh, with this situation. So I was surprised to get a call like that. I said, oh my goodness, this really happened. It happens. You know, we got hustlers uh, online. They talk about it all the time. How uh, these uh, foreigners from Nigeria and stuff on the dating apps getting involved with these lonely old women and pretending to care for them because they want a green card to come to America. There's a lot of that, a lot of scam shit going on. So I need to talk about that. I said, Velma, I, I, had, I got, I had to tell you this. Anyway, you know, that's it. <laughs> Back to the beef and sector streets, the beef sector. The, 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 uh, it was good. The competition was good. Challenge. That's the word I was trying to use. The challenge was good. Did he did three hundred fifty dollars really get snatched from him? Oh yeah. That's what they say. They said Lola gonna have a challenge. It may be as I'm speaking right now. It may be going on. Is it? Uh, is it gonna work? I don't know what the situation with Lola. And uh. Miss Crystal, they fighting over the lemon juice. They fighting over the lemon juice. I like lemon juice, but I ain't going to go to the extremes. I'm drinking tea now. I have lemon. I have lemon every, every once in a while. Lemon tea. Put tea in my, put uh, lemon in my tea. Quite a few, right? Quite a few fighting over lemon juice. I don't know why he said he couldn't breathe through his uh, costume. They made question about why he wasn't on camera. I don't know. Did he say that he went to get a costume, the one he showed? Then he had words with that other fella talking about get on the camera. Why did they challenge him when we've seen Lemon already? They keep challenging him to get on camera. Why is that? Leave Lemon alone. I don't know. Teresa said she got there late and wanted to see all the contestants. They weren't really feeling that. Teresa took them in when she trying to sing. Teresa was also kept bringing up something about sassy. Mentioned to this grown 53-year-old woman to go out there and date different men and men don't respect her. She kept talking about, I don't think Tracy liked that. And I want to say that why it seems like Tracy want uh, this, this lady and Lemon to be together. But it seemed to me Lemon ain't interested in Crystal. He not he not interested. I ain't gonna go through all the reasons why people keep saying different reasons. And you got so much to say about certain individuals when they not in your presence, but when they come on your stage, you just like a church mouth quiet. A church mouse quiet as hell. That's straddling in the goddamn fence right there. Uh, Miss T. Velocity and a few others. You don't stand in your words. 
Okay. What the word? I don't have nothing against, but when you put the butt, that means you're against what you're saying about the person. I like but. I never like no buts. <laughs> when but comes behind it, that means you straddling the fence, baby. When you apologize, but. Don't give me no but. I don't want your damn apology if you apologize and you say if. You already know you are, you offended me. Because I have mentioned it already. You offended me by so-and-so. But when you extend an apology and put an if in the front of it or a but behind the back of your apology, it ain't organic. It ain't real, baby. You got to know within yourself. I should not have said what I said. I should not have did. Now, that's a genuine apology, what I did. And from my heart, I'm sorry. I don't like no buts at the end. I don't like no ifs in the front. That ain't no genuine apology, honey. Apology. My tongue is tongue-tied in now. My tongue is too short to tie up now. Hmm? So, those of you, I'm giving you advice. Don't put no if in front. Don't put no butt in the back. Just, if you mean it, leave the if and the butt out. If you really mean it, you will. Have I ever used the if or the butt when I've had a, said something, did something to us? I can't recall. But yet again, I'm many years old, so I could have done that down through the years and don't remember. Hmm? Huh? I'm going to go and see what's going on at Lola's uh, chapel. <laughs> the nun. I'm going to go and see what the nun got going on over there on her, on her chapel. In her chapel. Are they going to support Lola? And transit, they keep saying that she's an ass licker. Whose ass is she licking? Ness, that's what the people say. Also, I heard that she had her stomach stapled. I did not know that she likes to dip in the pond. And transit, they say she goes where the wind blows. She she ain't got a backbone. Quite a few of them don't have a backbone. Uh, quite a few of them straddles the fence. But I heard in transit talking somewhere, I don't remember whose stage she was on. And that's not... Uh, 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 Jay Don asked the question, had Ness not been over on the spaceship getting ready to shoot out to orbit, go visit the other planets, would she not be over there? Because they go back and forth with each other. They straddle the fence with each other. Sometimes they get along. I'm talking about the alien and, and Miss Ness. I don't know where she'd be going in the morning time with her putting her makeup on. Getting our hair together. She seems like she's an outcast now. Seems like no one really get along with her. Her, her. her channel was one time the spot when they were uh, connected. At one time, you couldn't tell, remember, nothing negative about Ness. He took up for her quite a bit before this trip. He got along with her really well. You can, lemon baby, nobody could get you to pull nothing out your mouth negative about uh, this lady I'm talking about, Ness. But now that you want your separate ways, a lot of, a lot of stuff has happened. You don't have anything to do with, it, with her. You really don't talk on her. You won't, you, I think I heard him say, I told them, I heard him say that if, 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 if it was a chance for them to rekindle or 
uh, uh, talk things over. I think I heard him say my ears were playing tricks on me, but he don't want to do any of that. He wants to be left alone. I think I heard that. But this uh, troll, what's his name? He was in some store the other day. What's his name? Vic. And him talked about it. And I didn't understand that Vic was all in uh, the short man's corner. And he ain't been on in quite some time. I wonder if he been, he's bothered because him and Lemon ain't cool with each other anymore. All the rumors that were said about him. I can't think of his name now. Little short fella. His cash up has something something happened with his cash up. I don't know. Was he shut down? Some people it's been quite a few people cash ups getting getting blocked for whatever reason. They tighten up on these uh uh Zelle, uh PayPal, Cash App. Because the government, honey, the government is not playing. Do you hear me? Uh-uh. I got a cash up, Dollar Sign Lula May 2712. Some of y'all send me some money for for holiday. I'm getting ready to go out of town next month. Uh, uh Christmas, what I meant to say. Not next month. Christmas. Dollar Sign Lula May 2712. I'm putting it in the air. Your donations will be greatly appreciated. I'm getting ready to fly to Birmingham, Alabama. And I may need some help. Uh-huh. Dollar sign. That's dollar sign L-U-L-A-M-A-E 2712. I'm asking for myself, not a friend. I'm, I'm wanna, I want to book my trip. And I need some help. For Christmas, I'm going out of town. They said on the TV, start booking your trip because them prices going to be jacked up close to the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So they said for Christmas, you have to get it out the way by the end, by the 31st of this month. Again, I'm asking for myself, not for a friend. Dollar sign Lula May 2712. That's dollar sign L U L A L A E 2712. I'm trying to get a certain amount, whether it be a dollar, whatever your heart put on your heart to send me. Yeah, I'm plugging my cash up. I need some help. I need help, baby. I'm going to do a round trip. I'm going to put something on as well. Those of you that come over here, I don't ask, but I'm asking now the holidays upon upon us. Holidays, but I'm, I'm going to be traveling Christmas, going to Birmingham, Alabama to see family. I repeat my cash app again, dollar sign, Lula May 2712. And your donations are greatly appreciated. I think I said what I needed to say. I'm going to get off here because Will of Fortune is on. I like to watch the Will of Fortune. It's Saturday night and uh, I got to get up in the morning and go do my power walk. I get up early. I missed some days. I had to go to the doctor yesterday. I usually do it on Friday. And uh, if something piqued my interest, I am the beef sector critic. I'm going to come on and talk about it if I'm in my gown or if I'm on my avatar. See, I was trying to get on my avatar and, and uh, StreamYard was cutting up, cutting me off. I said, I, am, I don't want no black screen. I'm going to get on the camera. What you see is what you get. I love you. I love you. And I even love you. I got to go. Y'all have a good day. Uh, Friday, Saturday, weekend rather, what I should say. Have a good weekend. Talk to y'all soon.